Hi, I'm Mark Cleveland and welcome to the Photographer Academy and today we're talking customization of Smoke Mug. Now in this first part we're looking at how we can develop the already site that we've built to a slightly different look and feel. Now Smoke Mug tools allow anybody, including myself, to be able to go in and change the site to give it the personality, the look and the feel that I want it to. And with the pre-built site we've gone for a darker look and we're going to develop this during the course of this session to a more of a lighter, brighter feeling that is more inherent to my kind of styling. Also throughout, we're going to be looking at a slightly different navigation. We're going to go in as well and look at the About page so we can kind of develop that into a little bit more of a sexy looking site. So without delay, let's get into this first part of the film. Probably one of the first things you want to do when customising your site that little bit further is to change things like a text logo into a proper logo and upload, um, turn in links uh, on the top of the website here into uh, deeper links, so in other words, being able to see what is within a folder. Uh, and then obviously looking at the overall kind of design style and throughout the whole web uh, the website as well as looking at individual pages and that's what we're planning to do in this film. So we're going to go into customize and customize site. Now with Smug Mug anything that kind of flashes up as red is basically going to be the entire site. So that's what we want to affect here. So I'm just going to change this from a text into an image. So I'm just going to go and get an image here. I'm going to go to my images on site and go and choose the Mark Clever One logo. Now I've uploaded these already of course but if you didn't have them there obviously you just need to actually go through the upload process. Let's uh, just get rid of that text now of course and then we'll just get rid of the tagline as well. But before we click done let's just go and check out the image size and it's a uh, live responsive so in other words if I just type in 600 there you can see that the logo grows in size and obviously if I kind of take it down in size it'll then actually reduce itself so obviously you've got to find what is looking good for you I tend to run about 400 pixels so I'm just going to click done to that next thing is going to be is to make these just a little bit more responsive on the top so I'm just going to click into the options go into the links and in portrait um, I've uploaded more galleries now, so I can click into page I choose, which is correct here. Clicking it into the portraits. And now this is uh, just the folder I'm going to link to. Just clicking done. So the next thing I need to do is just switch the include folder contents to on, which will make the drop down menu appear once we get there. Back to links. Just going to do the same thing with wedding. Go and choose the wedding folder clicking done, back to links again, uh, at this point I'm going to add in a commercial so I'm just clicking into plus for the links, adding commercial as a header, clicking into page choice and then once more just clicking onto commercial, clicking done, well, remembering all the time to click onto that include folder contents, if you don't do that, let me just check I did that on wedding probably didn't, I always forget. Um, if you don't do that they won't expand themselves. Uh, while I was just there in links for a second I'm just going to move the commercial underneath the wedding and leaving the clients there below the contest, that's fine. I'm just going to click done to here. So the next thing I want to do is adjust the overall look to the whole site. So again I could just change the, the home page here but I'm going to go through the theme now to change the whole site. So I'm just click on the theme Smoky is the theme that I chose when I began this gallery, but I can go in and change anything. In fact, I can go in and change the colors here to the different kind of um, black. I can move into uh, red or green. I can move into a different color. I can custom change anything I want to there. So I can also go down here and change the font if there's a specific font that I want to use. Uh, both for the heading font and for the uh, body font, but as a, a kind of designer's rule, you tend to keep those the same. And if there's not a font there that you want, you can kind of click on to browse and go off and kind of find another one. I'm just going to cancel that for a minute. So the next thing I want to do is change the overall look to the site. So I'm going to click on to theme. And at this stage, I'm going to just go ahead and change what I want it to be. So I'm just going to click on to textures and come down to paint which is going to add this lovely kind of white textured background. It looks more like a wall than it does paint, but it is paint on assured. Then I'm just going to press preview. 
and you can see instantly how that kind of changed. We've got a logo at the top here, we've got the kind of the drop down headers now and so on with it. If we just disappear off to another gallery, you can see it maintains the original theme. That is because we didn't choose the entire site as far as the look and feel is concerned. And you can see I was just dealing with the home page. If I click onto entire site, I'm back into this smoky design. So once more I need to go back down to my textures and come down here and choose in paint. And that is now going to be the style across the whole of the, the website. Be careful because so many photographers ask me kind of uh, in webinars and so on, uh, well I've thought I've applied it to the whole thing but it only affects a folder or a gallery or whatever it would be. Uh, and obviously it's because you need to work on the entire site. So be careful um, when you're kind of making these adjustments. You might be just doing a lot of work on one folder or one gallery. So just think about it all the way through and what you're trying to affect throughout the whole site. And as it is here, I'm looking to have the same look and feel throughout the whole of the site itself but there's lots of options here there's design themes that we kind of had by default there then we have a simple way to move from that kind of theme from the dark which was to the light so I could just move straight away by choosing one of those uh, the textures is obviously what I've kind of gone for here but there's also patterns in the background so if I want to have something a little bit more kind of textured in other words or something with a pat pattern running through this is quite nice this titles one for boudoir photography if you like a dark site then you've got things like the zigzag and the squares for different kind of looks so again once more this is really down to you as far as background photographs you've got a choice as well of of, of what they include abstracts as well the bokeh is quite a nice kind of effect uh, especially the pinks if you're uh, bumps and babies or kind of a child photographer but you do have the options to kind of fully go in here and customize the colors so if you just want to keep to the simple kind of elements but you want to go in and perhaps add the blue to a deeper blue you can just go in and change that you'd have to give the theme a name then so that it was be a uh, light blue and then just go into click on to done so that becomes a theme for yourself then you can see it's kind of active there as it is and there's another one of the themes that we made ahead so it's uh, it's just down to taste and style really but I want to come back up to the textures come back down to paint and this is what I want to apply across the whole site so I'm just going to go to uh, preview now and then just click across to see how everything looks and once I'm satisfied with that, I can just go ahead and hit publish. If I want to go back and change anything, just hit the exit. Then you come back to the customization page. And at this stage, you can go in and make any adjustments that you want and so on. So I'm just going to press done now. And we're going to go to publish. So I've turned it from the dark site to the light site. We've added that logo on here. We've uh, added these uh, drop down menus coming through as well. Um, I want to go in and drastically change now my about page here just kind of make it look a little bit sexier as such so once more going into customize customize site now at this stage I'm just going to be customizing this page so if I wanted to I could go ahead and completely change my theme again so if I wanted uh, a darker element once more I can be doing that without any trouble and I think the first thing we're going to do is just look at the slideshow here and I want to increase that in its percentage in size so that's going to take over more of the screen I'm going to put that to 40 percent I'm then going to click done and then go to the tools part where I'm going to look at the playback options and I'm going to increase its time so it's two seconds I'm going to have a transition of one second and the splash image is already chosen there anyway, so the splash image is going to be there for just two seconds. I'm going to switch the captions off. Just click done. Let's preview that. So the slideshow now is much bigger. The holding slide, as it were, is there for less, and now the images are going to change and pace themselves much quick quicker. So let's go to exit that for a minute because we haven't finished here. I just want to go into the text box now. Click onto tools. This top part here I want a bigger heading. 
So what I'm going to do is return down the qualifications part. I'm just going to put a heading in here, which is much bigger. Then I'm just going to go ahead and increase the text size once more by just increasing the heading uh, size. So it just comes in a little bit bigger as such. And just uh, move some of the text down more just to add a little bit more separation. And I'm going to take away that about the books. I'm just going to control copy. Uh, sorry, control X that. Press done. And what I'm going to do is go over to the uh, layout here and I'm going to click onto a sidebar. This stage now I want to go back to content, grab the text and pull text over into the side. And that's what I'm going to now paste paste in. Just so I just space these out just a little bit better. Just on the uh, books include. Just move that up in size just a little bit. Just going to press done. And uh, again, this is depending if we want to include the breadcrumb or not. I'm going to get rid of this breadcrumb here. I don't really need to uh, have have that block. So I think the books over here is a little bit of a distraction, so I'm just going to click into it, the tools, just to uh, select all of the text there. And I'll just copy that out. Just go into now, just change this to uh, fun, funky and fashion photography. kind of the, the tagline just gonna stay in there just gonna click done and then I'm just gonna bring in another text box just bring it below here At this stage we're gonna kind of paste that all back in again there we go and finally we'll just pop on a little bit of a video just clicking on the video here um, I'm going to just drag a video in. We can link from YouTube. I'm just going to drag a video in because I've got them uploaded to the site already. I want to just put it next to the text here. Just click into video. Click into my video folder. Click into Animoto. Click into my wedding folder there. Selecting that one. Just going to press done. So I want that to auto-play. I'm going to center the uh, video there. That's fine. I'm going to press done to that. And then I'm just going to um, push this over for just a little bit more. So to do that, I'm just going to press on the plus. Just, so I'm just going to scroll down to here until we get to design. And I'm just going to put in a bit of a spacer just to the side. And then just container width there, just around about 15%. Uh, just to make that a little bit smaller, just pushes it away and it kind of gives me a nice kind of guide just running down the edge there as well. So let's preview that page. So I think that looks good. We'll just publish that. So let's just do a quick recap of what we've achieved in this film. We've uploaded a logo. We've given a whole bright white look to the site, including the texture of the background, of course. We've uh, changed the navigation on the top here, so to include the extra folders uh, within the uh, headings themselves. We've introduced a new commercial kind of look as well. And of course, we went into the About page and we built a whole new kind of look in front about me, including video, a slideshow, some text, a sidebar, and of course, the photograph of me. So I'm Mark Cleveland for the Photographer Academy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.